Ah. <coughs> uh. uh. Hi. So a lot of you may know that I have just had my exams, my GCSEs, and oh boy, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> and on the topic of that, I started thinking about dreams, as in the dreams that you have when you go to sleep. Where do they come from? Where do they go? Where did they come from? Cotton Eye Joe. And what are dreams made of? What do they do and why do we have them? In my case, I have none. Salutations, everyone. My name is Alan Aldroyd, and today we're going to be looking at what are dreams? While we may not remember it, everyone has dreams at night, around about 3 to 6. However, almost 95% of dreams are forgotten by the time a person gets out of bed. Dreaming can help you learn and develop long-term memories. That's why it's important to get a good night's sleep before exams, as you're more likely to remember the facts. Dreams are the stories the brain tells us during sleep. They're a collection of clips, images, feelings, and memories that involuntarily occur, occur? occur during the rapid eye movement stage of sleeping. Rapid eye movement, or REM, is known as the fifth stage of sleep. This stage accounts for 20 to 25% of total sleep time. During this stage, the amygdala, the area of the brain responsible for processing emotions, and the hippocampus, associated with creating long-term memories, become highly activated. This is why REM dreams have a story-like quality and are the ones you tend to remember the next day. The intensity of dreams during REM sleep can be dialed up or down by the dopa dopa Give me a second. Dopaminergic cells of the ventral teg. Oh my! Why is it so many big? Ones? The ventral tegmental area, which is in the mid part of the brain. For example, drugs that block activity in the dopaminergic activity, for example, haloperidol, inhibit unusually frequent and vivid dreaming, while an increase of dopamine stimulates excessive dreaming and even nightmares. Which is kind of ironic, as dopamine is used to make you happy. Huh. If you want to know why we dream, we don't exactly know why. But, we do have some ideas and theories. Q. Sigmund Freud. In the late 19th century, he believed dreams are a window into our subconscious and they can reveal someone's desires and thoughts and suppressed motivations. Freud thought dreams were a way of people to satisfy urges and desires that were unacceptable to society, much like the story of Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> he also argued that important unconscious desires often relate to early childhood memories and experiences. <laughs> However, Freud's theories have been discredited by studies and advances in technology, giving us a better glimpse behind dreaming. The main idea for why we dream is to help us process new, emotionally important information and add it to our conceptual memory system. Some researchers say dreams have no purpose or meaning and are nonsensical activities. What goes through our minds just before we sleep can affect the context of our dreams. For example, during exam time, students may dream about course content, People in a relationship may dream with their partner. Or, if you had a day out with your mates, you could have a dream involving those people. <laughs> Studies have shown the importance of dreams to our health and well-being. In one study, researchers woke subjects just as they were drifting off into REM sleep. They found that those who were not allowed to dream experienced increased tension, tendency to hallucinate, depression, weight gain, and lack of coordination. Oh, well, that explains it. I mean, what? Just as there is varying opinions as to why we dream, there are also different views as to what dreams mean. Some experts say dreams have no connection to our real emotions or thoughts. They're just strange stories that don't relate to normal life. But how about those common dreams that many people have, such as falling out of the sky or appearing naked in public? You are not getting a cutaway here. Ah! Scientifically... I can't find anything online, but please feel free, however, to tell me how you miraculously found it with one Google search in the comments below, with a link, please, so I can feel bad about how terrible my researching skills are. 
The only thing I could find online is that we've grown up with them being fed to us as the common dreams that everyone has, so psychologically we're more likely to have these dreams. But I can give you some ideas of what they could mean. Ooh, 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 ooh. I've been doing this for an hour and a half. I'm going mad. These dreams are likely caused by hidden stress or anxiety. While these dreams may be similar, some experts say the meaning behind the dream is unique to you. However, dream psychologists argue otherwise. I found online that some dream analysts say that the falling dream could mean you've experienced a letdown in real life. Which one of these is real? You decide. I, I don't know. I just, I just give you the facts. You make the decision. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, consider giving it a like. It is greatly appreciated. And also, if you haven't, consider subscribing for some more educational content in big quotations.